Before we get, this I have to say honestly though, this conversation about which we even prefer to deal with, account of Bandit Woods and Bandit Woods, this type of conversation, despite what your end game is, guess what ladies, all you're doing is widening the gap between men and women, don't you get it, seriously don't you get it, men are walking away from you, men are now approaching you, Shivery is dead. Congratulations, you murdered Shivery. You know what, though? You expect a man to give up his seat on a bus or subway train for you? Not gonna happen. You killed that. You want to be strong, independent women who could who want nothing from a man? Okay, fine. You don't want a man to talk to you, approach you, even you look in your direction? Congratulations. You want to make sure it stays that way? Stop going to gyms. Or I'll go one better. Men, make your own gyms. Make it, uh, uh, if I was you guys, if you have your own home gym, make videos saying oh, it's so much better to have your own home gym without you have to worry about some woman accusing you of something. If I was you guys, make videos, lots of videos. That way, if you have your own home gym, you can totally focus on it. I go a step better. Invite your friends over. Invite a lot of male friends. I dare some women say like, hey, heck, there's no women there. Because we don't need the stress. I think you're going to be some type of IG wannabe model. Do I come in here starting stuff? Nope. Mm -mm. Nope. So this conversation, like, which you prefer, a man or a bear? If you're trying to widen the gap between men and women, congratulations, you did that. You're so focused on men reacting or being their feelings, you fail to see that you just make sure that that gap between men and women just grow even wider. You don't even see it. But when time comes and you're trying to seek these men and they don't want to be bothered, you be crying like, why can't we find a good man? Once again, you chase them away. I said before, I say it again. Me Too movement, weaponized. Believe all women, weaponized. And just being a male, I, um, toxic masculinity, you weaponize that too. So if you're trying to drive men away, congratulations. The only women that I truly feel sorry for are the traditional women because they didn't do a thing wrong. I think of the traditional kids who are told to be good, get good grades, get a good job, find a good man, a good woman, to be a great husband and wife. Seems like there's an agenda against the nuclear family. Makes me kind of wonder. Hey, I said what I said. Peace.